Now I'd like you to make a prediction. In my left hand, I have a basketball. In my right hand, a five kilogram medicine ball. If I hold them both above my head and then let them go simultaneously, which one will hit the ground first? Six years ago, here at the University of Sydney, I did an experiment very similar to this, where I handed out a heavy object and a light object, and I asked which one would hit the ground first. Tell me, which one's gonna hit the ground first? I'm gonna put my money on the black fella. Um, what, what's your heart telling you? I reckon it's gonna drop faster. I'm on the black one as well. Yeah, I'll go with Okay. You. This one go faster, and you hit the ground first. Pick this one. one. You're gonna pick that one? Yeah. What's your feeling about that one? How does it compare to the... Well, it's a lot heavier, and I just feel like the weight is, you know, pulling it down, you know, the more weight it's, the faster it's going to fall to the ground. The, the forces are more on that ball than this one. You can definitely tell the difference. <laughs> I mean, I go to the gym like seven days a week, but I still feel it. I can still feel it. Well, that one feels like it could almost go up, where this one is going it's down. Got, it's got air in it, so it did lifting up as opposed to this one being pulled down. Now I think, now you're coming back to me, I'm thinking of basketball now. <laughs> What's making you think basketball? Because you're coming back to me. Sure. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> no, you know, I'm gonna I'm stay solid. You can't corrupt me. I'm gonna stay solid on the black. <laughs> All right, let's actually do this thing. So, do you wanna, do you wanna hook us up as high as you can? And uh, the key is to be as simultaneous as you can. All right, are you ready? You wanna count it down? Yeah. Three, two, one. Exactly. The same. <laughs> oh. Three, two, one. Yes! We did it! What did you think happened? Oh, I thought the black one went first. Oh, you thought the black one landed first? Yeah, you, we'd, we'd have to go to the tape. <laughs> Wait, what did you see? Uh, they looked like they pretty much landed at the same time. Same, they hit the ground at the same time? Oh, I thought it was very close. It's probably just a beast dick in it. It's because it's, it's, not, it's not a very high distance. So they haven't really reached their maximum velocity yet. Oh, well, the black ball just didn't reach terminal velocity. It wasn't enough time for it to fall. I would thought it'd be like all the different variables. Like, um, so like that one had to like break more air, whatever. Break more air? You know. <laughs> the answer is, although the force of gravity on the black ball is greater, it has a greater mass and therefore greater inertia. So it requires more force to accelerate it. There's less gravitational force on the basketball, but because its mass is lower, it has less inertia and therefore requires less force to accelerate it at the same rate as the medicine ball. Let's give it a try. Three, two, one. <laughs> 